we are going to prove the theorem about the mid-segment of a trape trapezoid is parallel to each base and its measure is one half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So here is the sketch. I put this on a XY coordinate plane to help us be able to do the actual measurements so that we can be able to measure these uh, bases. But in essence what they're looking at is saying that this line, if this, because it's a trapezoid, we know that AC is going, excuse me, BC is going to be parallel to AD. This line here, EF, is going to be parallel to then to, we can prove those are going to be parallel to both of those, and that the length, this length of this line right here is going to be actually equal to one half the sum of this length and that length, and that's what we're going to be uh, proving. So we have our given and the uh, the median, which means that this and these two parts right here are equal to each other, since the median means that it's been split. And we're going to be proved that EF is going to be parallel to AD and EF is going to be parallel to BC. And that, like I just mentioned about the sum, uh, the median being one half the sum of the uh, sides there, of the, the bases. All right, first we go ahead and repeat what we were given about the trapezoid. And we know that this line BC is parallel to AD because that's part of the definition of a trapezoid. Likewise, we know to put this point here, E and F, we want to find out where they are. And as we know, they are midpoints between A and B, E is. And, of course, we know from our, from our midpoint formula is that, as we indicate right here, we have A, the distance over from here is to A, from that, from uh, from the x side, and so one half of that is going to be a over two. Likewise, the altitude or the y axis, the height right here, you can see is d, d. All right, and so it's going to be one half of that, which is uh, d over two. And f, we know that f is in the position because we go from a all the way over to b and then to D. And so this distance right here is A, this distance, total distance right here is B, and this distance right here is C. So that's why we have here as this point right here is D as being A plus B plus C from the, on the way of the x-axis. And we're going to be divide that by 2 to find out where that position uh, is. And so from, uh, from now from F, then we have to remember we have a... This length right here is a uh, total length of A plus B, all right? And then the D is the height, again, as we saw earlier on this side. And so, therefore, the midpoint of here is going to be 2AB two A, two A plus 2B uh, plus C over 2 and one half D. Now we know that these lines are parallel. How do we know that? Because you look at the slopes. The slope of these right here is not, there's not a slope going up or down. It is a horizontal slope, and therefore, which that means it's zero. So the slope of all of these lines are, are the same, and therefore, if they, uh, the slopes are, are the same, that means that all these lines are parallel. Now, let's find the length of AD. As I mentioned earlier, AD is, is indicated right here. It's going to be the length from this point here, A, from the origin, all the way over to D. It's A plus B plus C. And then the length of BC, as we can indicate up here, it starts at A and goes all the way over to here, which means the length of that is going to be B. And then the length of EF, remember we started at one-half A, then we have to add B over there, and then one half of C. All right, and so we use what we're doing on that aspect is using the reason for doing that. That is using the distance formula or a distance calculation. Now, for number six, we can say now that AD plus BC that's going to equal to one half EF, which is what we were uh, which we were trying to uh, prove. And we can do that over here by using a little bit of uh, algebra. First is that we mentioned right here that AD is this right here, A plus B plus C, and BC is B, so that we know if we add these together, we're going to end up with this right here, which is essentially A plus 2 
B plus C. Then if we take one half of that, of that sum, and I just substitute that in, you can see that comes out to be this, which is the same thing that we had for here, or EF, and so forth, therefore our reason is valid. Okay, so we have just proven then that the mid-segment, this mid-segment right here of a parallelogram is parallel to both the bases, and it's one half of the measure of the sum of these bases. Thank you.